because this is one of the most powerful committees in the house and um, their work their work as you have all you all know has been very very thorough and their work is very important this is the only committee in the house that is established by the constitution yes so uh, so i want to make sure that you know you know things uh, you take them seriously i want to make sure the same uh, uh, shouting match that happened in the Senate yesterday does not happen here. It's not something that uh, it's not something that uh, it's unfortunate uh, that members were not allowed to carry out their constitutional responsibilities. But I can assure you that the matter will be resolved. The matter will be resolved in the next 24 hours. Uh, the National Assembly is an institution that needs and must be respected. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I will just be here like a fly on the wall. Just pretend that I'm not here and do your, do your thing. Auditor General, you're, you're welcome, and everybody else. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So, uh, the program officer, um, we are happy that you're in agreement that the Procurement Act is applicable to this program. Okay, and the question, the relevance of the question asked by Honorable Ben Carlo, okay, that what were the procedure that you deployed in engaging the chicken protein suppliers? Okay, the, if you go to a particular community, there may be 1,001 cooks, and if you're engaging the service of a cook, then it means Section 15, you know applies because the cook is rendering services to to you okay so that those are the questions he has asked we don't want to ambush you except if you have ready answers for them then you may go, go back and prepare but if you have ready answers the floor you have the floor the states of the federation all 36 and the fct and we are approached by the program to help them validate um, the number, well, we are given four tasks. One is to, we collect a list of the schools that they gave to us, the addresses that they gave to us, and what our staff were supposed to do is to go to those schools, only the schools that we are given. So issues of whether they are public or private, we are not, that's not uh, our concern. Ours is to go to the list of schools that we are given uh, and do four things. One is to, compare, to look at the official school register, and then do a head count of the students that we see in those schools in partnership with the, with the, with the head, head teachers or head uh, principals, whatever they're called. So they watch us as we do that head count of every student in that school. We collect the names of the teachers, the head teachers, and they agree with us because they're watching us as we are counting this, um, counting these students. And we record it in our, in our electronic devices. So that's, that's, the, that's the first two tasks. We're also supposed to get a list of the cooks and their numbers, and their phone numbers. Um, so this was basically the task, the only task we are supposed to do, and that's exactly what we went to go and do. And once we get that information, we gave it back to them. And that's where our own responsibility stops. Um, other members, I think that's essentially the, the role of MBS from start to finish, in the, in, as far as this um, exercise is concerned. Thank you, sir. Me just, uh, okay, sir. Uh, Mr. Stitcher. How are you? Okay, I just have, uh, just want to clarify something. But first of all, uh, uh, I don't, uh, Program Officer, I hope you understood what my colleagues were trying to say regarding the nexus between the federal government and monies for the federal government and the states. And for as long as there's a nexus, no matter how tenuous that nexus is, there must be compliance with the Public Procurement Act. Do you understand that? There's no dispute about that. You will admit that uh, that hasn't been done. And moving forward, that needs to be done. Very, very important. The statistician, I just heard you say something about um, your role is to basically go and do a head count. And you said also that it is more or less irrelevant to you that it doesn't really matter whether it's a public or a private school. Yes or no? No, that's not what I meant, sir. What I no, said no, but is, that's what you said. 
I said our responsibility was not to validate whether we got a list okay. and we went to wherever they told us to go to. So your responsibility is not to validate whether it's a public or private No, it's not. School. It's to go to wherever they told us to who, go to. Who, to do you work, who do you work with? The federal government? The federal government, sir. Okay. Are you presumed to be aware of the law, any law by the federal government of, of which they have given you some kind of responsibility? Are you supposed to be aware of what the law is? We are supposed to know what the law is. Okay. Are you aware that this program only relates to public schools? I'm not particularly aware of the details of the program, no. No, these are not details. This is the basic, uh, it's I'm not aware public of, or I, private I wasn't aware of this. I'm not aware of that information, whether it relates to public or private schools. But you are supposed to be. Because you work for federal government and you're a statistician, you're supposed to know that this particular law is not for private school or this particular program is not for private school, correct? I, I'm not aware and I'm not, I'm not... I know you're not aware, but are you supposed to be aware? That's I'm not question. sure I'm supposed to be aware about the details of a private, of a private program. So as far as, as far as you know now, I don't want you to... I, as far as you are concerned now, as you sit here, as you sit here, a federal government employee, and also very relevant one, I mean a statistician, as you sit here, you are telling the world that you don't know whether the school feeding program is applicable to public schools or to private schools. You are not aware. I'm not aware of whether it applies to private or public schools. That's, that's the truth. Okay. Like I said, sir, our response, we just followed the guidelines that the, we are given some work to do and we followed it to the letter, exactly as we are supposed to. Okay. They, they still, uh, so when they, when, they, when, they, when they gave you that responsibility, who gave that responsibility to you? The program, the school feeding program. Okay, Mr. School Feeding Program, when you gave the responsibility to them to go and validate, and it's a very important responsibility, very major responsibility you gave to them, to go and validate did you tell them what they were going to buy? Did you tell them that this program is for public schools or you just, you just told them go to any school that they give you and go about it? Because okay. now he's shifting that blame on you. And I want to know if you gave them the, uh, in, your, in giving them the instructions, if you outlined the program to them. Okay. Uh, first of all, the program is actually targeting public primary schools. Uh, the validation was done based on data provided by the states. So we we'll gave that data to uh, NBS to do a validation on. Uh, we agreed on certain terms which included uh, head counts, uh, details on register, uh, name of school, and where those schools are located, and also to provide the head teachers' names and numbers of those schools. Uh, I, well, we've explained our program in different ways. I, I won't want to say that we specifically had said public primary schools at the time of the engagement, but the list provided was actually the list given by, uh, by the states for them to validate. Okay, so, um, so as it is now, I can have an interest in this. I can be part of the state government and have an interest or my relative has an interest in a private school and that can slip through the cracks and they can go and validate and come back to you and say it's validated even though it's a wholly 100 percent private school okay uh so the the um private school criteria uh is not meant to be however what we do beyond even the what they've done is that we carry out uh, a state's, state's monitoring activities uh, and it's expected that all the schools provided by the states are public primary schools, which is what is communicated to the state. It's expected. Which is also what is in the uh, memorandum of understanding. But you don't know if the states have complied. We follow through with that, but we hold them through the memorandum of understanding, which even includes that where they provide uh, invalid data, they will be responsible to the point of even refunding, especially if it goes beyond a 15% uh, threshold. Who does that validation? So with what we've done now with uh, MBS, for instance, and 
uh, we send people to the states to so confirm MBS that. does it. They do the validation. Validation on the schools. So schools that don't exist or schools that are not. Who does the validation of whether a school is wholly private or public? Who does that validation? Or is it just based on what they've given you? You just rely on the good faith of the, of the state. The point of uh, inception, I mean, uh, commencing, yes, we rely first on their data, but we go down the line to validate with our own independent monitors. With, uh, with your own independent yes. monitors. Okay.